Hey everybody, today I have my Canon HF G40 today on my Zoom and Weeble S. Stick around and I'll show you how that works, how I did it, why I did it, and what the heck I'm doing. If you have any comments, questions, want to take part in any discussion, conversation, leave a message down below and we can talk, we can discuss things, we'll get deep. Also like, subscribe, and uh, and don't unlike it, whatever you do, that's bad. So as you can see, I have my Canon H, well, I don't know, you can't see the camera, but I can. Yeah, it's on uh, my Canon HF G40, is in complete auto mode, because I want to see how it reacts moving around from room to room on my Zoom Weeble S. So as you can see right here, <clears throat> I have my Canon HF G40. I'm turn the LCD screen so I can see myself doesn't like being able to see yourself. And as you can see right here, this thing doesn't really, uh, you know, because of this lens hood. So you have to take the lens hood off. And this battery is gigantic, as you can see on here. So that's the, the only issue you're gonna face is if you're using a giant battery. What you want to do is you want to have this plate right at the very end of your HF G40 or whatever camcorder you're using, because chances are it's going to be it's going to be heavy. You want this to be as forward as you can get it, where it's still hitting the lens, but it will still balance. So I've almost got this on here. It only takes a second. It's almost balanced. Unlock this one. Slide this over a little. This way, look at that. That's easy to balance. This thing balances itself practically. Balances itself. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Now you just wanna adjust this thing right here. Let's bring that down a little, I think. Not sure which way to go. Maybe up. Oh, too far. A little bit down this way. There we go, look at that. And this is so cool. Check this out, hold on a sec. <clears throat> Let's just do this last little. See, it wants to go this way. So when it wants to go that way, you bring it back this way, just a little. See, it went too much. Too much. <clears throat> now I just got to bring it back, push it forward in a little, and I move it this way, and it, it pretty much wants to stay the right way. So now, all I do is I turn it on. And it fixes itself. And as you can see, let's bring this camera back up here. So now I'm shooting this on my Panasonic GH5S. But I have my HG40 on my Zoom and Weeble. Look at that, works beautiful. Ever seen such a thing? My God, look at that. Let's bring this zoom back in so you can see the whole dang scene. I love my GH5S, honestly. This is such a beautiful camera. Except for the stupid display screen. Oops, I just turned the volume up. Is it? Ah, so look at it, check it out. Look at it. Check that baby out. Let's put that in the POV mode. You can swing it around and it wants to look wherever you're looking. Baby. Look how close the battery is to the back of that. Look at that. The gigantic battery. I can't find the original battery for this camera. It's much smaller. So if you have an original battery for this camera, you'll have a bit of an easier time balancing it 
and uh, you won't have to worry at all about it ever hitting the back. But I mean, it clears it, look at it, it clears. Definitely clears it. And you can add some stuff to the top, like a microphone and stuff. It's just that you'll be limited when you try to bring it under. Here, let me put it back into the... Put it back into the L mode. See, when you go underneath, like that, you might be limited for the, uh, well, you gotta be careful when you go forward. Look, look at that, look at that, it barely clears the thing. But anyway, when you're going forward like this, then you can't really have too much crap on the top of your camera right here. That'll get in the way. But you can have a small mic, like obviously you can't go everywhere. You don't wanna have your little, uh, EF viewfinder thing sticking out either because that'll definitely get in the way. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll show you some of the footage from this thing and it looks fantastic. The other thing is this handle comes off the tripod and you can put that right here. And then you can get really cool shots like this. See how I'm off to the side too. It wants to stay pointed in. You can close that screen too. The motor is strong enough to hold the camera, even if it's a little unbalanced. It's just that the battery won't last as long. And the other thing about this too, is when you have a camera that, it, that the USB is compatible with, the uh, USB will actually charge the camera. Like my GH5S is compatible that way. Just being able to carry this thing around and and have it act as a stabilizer, which is really what this thing is good for. If you need to control your camera while you're doing it, it's probably best to have a second person controlling that app and make sure that they have a phone that it's compatible with, or else you may find yourself uh, SOL, as they say. But I find that uh, the uh, using the Lumix apps with my GH5S works really well and I could have somebody control my camera from that instead. And I think that's a great option. So if you have a remote control for your camera or there's an app for your camera, I think that that's probably the better way to go and have somebody else help you out because it's kind of hard to control all these things while you're walking around like using, cause you can control the camera not this camera, but some cameras are more compatible, like my GH5, GH5S, and a lot of Lumix and Sony and Canon cameras will be compatible with your Zoom and Weevil S. Some controls may or may not be there. There's a chart that'll show you on their website which controls and which options will be on, will work with your camera through the app. And uh, most of the Panasonic ones seem to work fairly well. Obviously, I haven't checked out cameras that I don't own, but I took a quick glance and it seems like most of the top models and brands are definitely highly supported. It's just that your phone may not support the app and there's you're running into a bit of an issue with that. But it's kind of hard, like I was saying, I think, to operate and, uh, a camera while walking around using these controls Although it's neat that they included it and you have the option and if you can learn how to do it, then all the power to you. It just seems kind of a little hard and uh, tricky, but I think it works like as a stabilizer really, really well for pretty much any camera that you can attach to it. I've also attached my Canon 60D and it is much heavier than either of these cameras with a big lens and shit like that. Man. So if you have any questions, concerns, comments, leave them down below. I would love to hear anything you have to say and uh, anything you might have to add. Like, do you have one of these things? Tell me what cameras you've uh, hooked yours up to. Let, let me know what's going on with your life. Now, you're not really supposed to use these cameras. These cameras are not made for the Zoo and Weevil S. I also have tried my Canon 60D on my Zoo and Weevil S and also my little Panasonic TM700, which is super small and light, so that's not gonna be an issue. But on any of these cameras, you can't use the USB connection for the camera control on either your your Android phone or your uh, iPhone or whatever you may have. 
and like it. it's gonna work on a Fisher Price phone or something like that. But I digress. The camera control is kind of tricky to use on the Zoom Weeble S on the, on the handle. There is different modes, like a POV mode, but I found that using the POV mode on this camera can make it act kind of wonky for some reason. Every time I've turned it on, it starts going all haywire. But on my Panasonic GH5S, it acts fairly good, normal, but that's not as heavy of a camera. This should be able to handle 9.6 pounds, I believe. I'll get, the, I'll get back and put that on the screen below my face somewhere. And then, uh, and then we'll all rejoice and the information that I've provided. So, it, so, uh, so relish that. And uh, so this is a normal lighting in auto mode on my Canon HF G40. Well, maybe not normal. I've lit my room with like a thousand lights. It's got like the power of the sun illuminating it. So obviously the auto is gonna look pretty good in this situation. But let's go to a darker room and see how that handles. And at the same time, we'll also see how smooth the action is on the, on the, uh, on the gimbal that is being provided to us by me and my bank account. <laughs> so the camera operator is new at the Weeble S, so we'll just slowly make our way over here because it's new and we're just getting used to it, aren't we? The camera's also just super slow at turning. So this is what it looks like when doves cry. I mean, when you go into a darker room. I wanna see on the video where you guys get to see first how that transitioned from light to dark. You don't have to do that. And, uh, I'm interested in seeing how smoothly it adjusted from the light to dark and if the white balance changed and how that adjusted. And is the, is the image, is the uh, auto intelligent autofocus staying true in this light? Was it good in the other light? What about this green tinted room? All the light is coming through my green background. So it's a different white balance, different uh, exposure from the previous room and the room before that. So now we'll go outside and we'll see how that reacts, how the camera reacts to it being outside. Still trying to be slow, but I think I'm going a little too fast. Let's go outside, come this way. that overexpose? Did it look normal? Was that smooth? Jerky? How does that camera react? It's an old camera. 2016. It's no Canon R5. 8K. This is a 1080 60p is what we're shooting in. 35 megabits per second. 60 glorious frames per second. And this thing, I have a Comica receiver sitting on top of it, so it's kind of making the weight a little strange. I've had to tape a tripod mount onto the back of the camera. And actually I have a longer battery on the back of the camera too. Usually it's a much shorter, lighter battery, but this longer, heavier battery, I think is better to offset the balance. Just come this way. Now I'm gonna hide behind the tree and see if my cameraman can find me. Haha, -ha, the camera sucks at finding people behind a tree. That's a weakness. You might wanna throw out your Canon HF G40 if it can't find people behind a pear tree. It's useless. They're not ripe. I will not be eating a unripe pear on Seems camera. So we lost our air conditioning all weekend. I didn't even feel like making a video because of that. This is not a ripe pear. And uh, it was hot as hell. I did not feel like making a video. I didn't even know if I was gonna do this. 
But here we are finally. Actually, it's nice out now. It was hot as heck out all most of the weekend. And now that I'm out with the sun shining right in my eyes, I can barely open my eyes. I feel like that guy from Third Planet, or the planet, you know, that show with the guy from the, some Third Planet. So uh, I think that's about all I have to say about those Canon Zoom Weeble. Let me know how, uh, how you uh, like this. Uh, did you feel like it reacted well? Is the auto mode any good? Is this a good situation if you have this camera in auto on a Zoom Weeble S? Let me know how that works. Have you used any other camera on this combo? Have you used any other gimbal with an old camera? Let me know how that works. If you have, if you haven't, if you think about it, if you dream about it, if you go to bed at night sweating, if you cry, leave a message down below and we'll talk about that. We'll discuss it. We'll get down to the nitty gritty details of whatever it is that's bugging you. About cameras anyway, I'm not a psychologist. Leave a message. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want, and uh, then we'll have a grand old time.